Yo, what is good up guys? Welcome back. In this video, I want to go ahead and start getting the animations to to cooperate because right now we are moving moving around in an idle position, which is not not too bad, but uh, I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. It's not the greatest. And one other thing I'm gonna do is in the and I'm so sorry if in the videos the audio for the music is bad. Um, depending on what I'm doing inside of unreal i turn my shadows plays audio up and down depending on what i'm recording so if the videos might have an uh, audio issue i know that my voice will peak over most of the audio but i want to apologize if the uh, if the audio is kind of annoying because of the the music from lyra but yeah right now we're just moving around in an idle a uh, third person kind of position here i want to go ahead and work on getting the animation retarget set up so let's go and make a new folder let's call this animation and i'm gonna come in here and i'm going to make an ik rig for our oh hold on i gotta figure out which i need to scale uh, i need a skeletal mesh um, I guess these all use the same skeleton, so I'm gonna use the pre-made guy right here And I'm gonna just call this IK Modular character and then I also need an IK Retargeter and then we want to use The this says pick the IK grid to copy animation from we, we want to use the IK mannequin so I'm gonna call this IK R underscore modular character and then I want to make an animation blueprint. So let's go animation and anim blueprints. And we want to use our uh, hold on. Let's make sure we get it from the right place. So you can see the path here is from that game SKC casual. This is the, the actual skeleton we want here. So I'm going to create that using this skeleton. Call this ABP underscore modular character and I'm gonna do underscore retarget. So right off the bat, I already know that I'm gonna need a retarget pose from mesh. So let's bring in one of those nodes, this retarget pose from mesh. Here you can select an IK retargeter asset. That's why we made it already. So I can pass in the modular character retargeter and then we can pass this guy in there and we want to make sure that use attached parent is clicked and we just continue with that uh, this is going to say that it's missing ik rig asset which is okay uh we'll set that up right now now before this was very tedious but unreal has made some improvements with this uh with this ik retargeter system that they got or the ik rig system where if you kind of like click on a chain and make a new chain it'll kind of think for you of what kind of chain it needs to be which is very whoo when i say man that's a that is a time saver it's actually a blazing amount of time saved so here i want to add a new solver we'll do full body ik you see here it's missing the root bone i'll right click on this pelvis and set the root bone on the selected solver i also want to right click on the pelvis and set this as the retarget root as well and then I want to right click on a root. Let's make a new chain from uh, the retarget chain and hit OK. We don't want to add a gold to it. That's a, that's the thing that it also is new for me. I haven't used the retargeter in quite a while, but it's new for me to see that. So let's make the spine. So we'll grab from spine one to spine three. We'll right click it, new retarget chain. And you see here it already gives it a name of spine. We don't need a gold for it. We can do the clavicles, so let's just grab both of the clavicles, right click, new chain from selected bones. And instead of left arm, I'm gonna go left clavicle, hit okay, no go, and then right clavicle. Okay, and no go. And then, man, when you see this, how easy this is, it's so beautiful, man. So if you hit this from upper arm to hand L and create a new chain, it'll call it left arm. We want to add a goal and assign the goal that does that automatically for us. If we select all the fingers, oh my God, bro. I know you guys probably know this and I'm late, but this is revolutionary to me. 
because this is one of my biggest pet peeves on this, how how tedious it was to do this. But here it takes the fingers and it understands that that's the left index. Uh, we don't need to go right, left, middle, no go, left pinky, no go, left ring, no go, left thumb, no go. So as long as you got an unreal naming convention, I'm pretty sure this is going to be able to smartly figure out what you want exactly for your bone chain names. And uh, then you can decide to add a goal or not. And that, my friends, is a thing of beauty. So we're going to assign a goal to this right arm. And then we're going to select all the fingers for that guy. Grab those and say new retarget chain and just hit OK and no go for all the fingers. We don't want any IK goals for the fingers. One on. OK. And... We need to do the same thing for the legs. So let's go from thigh, calf, to foot, to ball, to ball end. Um, yeah, we'll keep all of those. Uh, and actually, I don't think I'm going to get that ball in. I'm going to go thigh, calf, foot, ball, and then thigh, right, calf, foot, and ball. We might not even need to do the ball. So let's deselect the balls. Pause. Right click. New retarget chain. So we got left leg. We're going to add a goal. Assign the goal. Right leg, add a goal and assign the goal. And we don't, we're not going to worry about these IK bones. They're not important to me. So if we hit save here, we should have enough information to kind of work with this. Moving over to this modular character retargeter, uh, we want to set the target IK rig to our modular character. And if we look at some animations or we run the retargeter, you see it'll set up this pose for us, which is great. So let's look at some of our, you see that the auto chain also ran as well. Let's look at some animations here just to make sure they look okay. Uh, he looks saucy as hell. Now the boy looks saucy as a motherfucker, don't he? All right, so yeah, we're looking good. Uh, hit pause on this and go ahead, save this. And if we go back to our modular character retarget uh, animation blueprint and recompile it, see everything should be fine. And now uh, what we want to do is now pass this animation blueprint into our head part. So let's go to the part folder, mail, and go to the head. And I'm actually going to browse this just so I can select it and pass this uh, animation blueprint into our part slot here. So right now we're using the third person anim BP. So I'm gonna pass in our guy. And then let's see if we get something functional here. Yeah, think of beauty, guys. Think of beauty. So now we have a modular character with the, you know, we're using the Unreal animations. Everything looks okay. It doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't look perfect, but it doesn't look bad because as you can see there, the hands are kind of jacked up. Um, the IKs are kind of messed up a little bit, but uh, that's something that if you put a little bit more work into it and at the specific space bones that you need for the the IKs to work properly, which there are tutorials on YouTube to do that, uh, you'll get some pretty good uh, results here. But this is this is beautiful. Okay, so that's all I want to cover in this video. And if you guys are ready for the next one, I'll see you in there. Peace.